it's Jackie with Kaima Key Dragons, and today we are unboxing the Baby Lock Ballad. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Foot pedal. Oh my gosh, look at all these feet and accessories. We'll go through these in just a second. All your standard accessories, thread cap, extra spool, you know, thread spools. Ooh, is this a walking foot? Stitch regulator. Oh my gosh, that's really exciting. Okay, your manual and your reference guide. Put those somewhere safe. You don't want to lose those. And your knee lift. All right. All right. What a beaut. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Let's get her plugged in and turned on. <laughs> That's so fun. What? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Beautiful. in here oh really nice accessory storage in here look we'll never lose all those little feet ever again everything has a place okay so this is a dual feed foot um, and it's really neat because what's cool about the ballad is it allows you to plug this dual feed foot right into the back of the machine. And then you can actually change the speed at which it feeds your top fabric through the machine in relation to how fast the feed dogs are feeding it through the machine. And this allows you to work with fiddly fabrics, quilted fabrics, anything like that that um, needs to be adjusted. I mentioned this little accessory pouch before. We can go over everything that's in there. The bobbin cover that's on the machine has measurements on it, and there's another one in here that does not have measurements on it. You've got a stylus to use with your touch screen. A lot of people like to use a stylus. You've got an adapter, um, usually used for free motion quilting to attach a darning foot. A couple of spool caps. You've got a small screwdriver and a larger screwdriver. Some needles. An awl. Ooh, man, I just love these little lint brushes that come with the machines. They're among my favorites, to be honest. And then you've got a twin needle in there too. Awesome. In the bag of accessories, you have some extra bobbins. I can never have too many bobbins. Oh wow, is this an extra bobbin assembly? Interesting, I'm gonna look into that and make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Okay, what do we got in here? Ooh, a straight stitch plate. So what's cool about a straight stitch plate, it'll have just one little hole right there for your needle instead of a wider opening for your needle. If you're doing zigzags, you need a wider opening for the needle to go back and forth. But for straight stitching, um, especially delicate fabrics, it's really nice to have one with just a smaller single opening there. And then we have a couple of feet. Look at this beautiful darning foot. My favorite. Amazing. Then we have another free motion quilting foot or darning foot. And here's one that kind of floats, kind of a, a for, it is still for free motion quilting, but it, it is more of a floaty design. And your quarter inch foot with the guide there. So here I've removed the lid and attached the two spool thread stand. You can get a telescoping attachment for that as well. And the number one reason I recommend new machines 
to everyone is that it's going to have diagrams for your threading. So if you're not a person who uses a machine every day or you have to look up every single time how to thread your machine, a newer machine is gonna have that information printed right on it, which is really, really nice to have. Down here, we're gonna go over the accessories that are in storage right in the machine right there. First, you have your seam ripper, always good to have. Here's your button holder foot. This is our overcasting foot and a monogramming foot. This one, this one is a blind stitch foot. Here we have a zipper foot. And, and this one is called the button fitting foot. All right, there she is. I'm really excited to get into it um, and show you how to do a few different things and how to really use the machine. Okay, we'll delete that pattern. Oh, so interactive, I love it. You can see everything you need is right here at your fingertips. There's your options here. And then if you hit the question mark, you can access the operation guide, a sewing guide, a pattern explanation really nice to use. We have some fonts in here I'm excited to get into. Look at that. Oh my gosh, watch this. Let's run it through all the tension discs and then we just push that needle threader button. And of course we do have a speed control here, which is really nice. The needle threader I just showed, presser foot up down button, automatic thread cutter, needle down. This is a reinforcement stitch that also ties off your stitching. And there's your back stitch and your start stop button for things like um, fonts and buttonholes. So there she is, the Baby Lock Ballad. Make sure you leave us a comment and let us know what you would like to see us do on the ballad.